my name is Mark Flores. Um, I'm an entrepreneur. I started this company called Supreme Perfection LLC and I'm a mobile dog groomer. Roughly right now it's about like nine o'clock. Um, we're about to get the day started. We're heading out to Thousand Oaks today and we're gonna go groom some dogs. All right, let's do it. My first appointment today is at 10 o'clock and we're headed out to Thousand Oaks. We're headed on to the road. Let's do this. And we should be arriving like in three minutes, so we'll be there. I know it was kind of like a long drive. All right, let me contact my first client. So let's go, let's go to the back. Let's start prepping the day. All right. So sometimes when it's like super, super cold, obviously we, we leave the vents closed, but this gives us our air circulation. So let me go get the first dog and then we'll be right back. All right, awesome. All right, this is a killer. All right, so let me put this stuff down. She already knows. <laughs> so right now I'm just brushing out her coat, making sure there's like no knots and stuff, um, which obviously there's not really. Those are groomer helpers, groomer loops, and these are called uh, groomer leads. This is more of just, like I said, a restraint that you can use on them when having them on the table, in the bathtub and stuff like that. There you are. I'm trying to get her used to the sensation of the vibration, so I'm rubbing it around her body so she knows like what's about to happen. Like even though she knows, I don't want her to be too fearful of it. So now I'm about to grind them. And so that yawn she just did was a stress yawn. So a lot of people mistake that yawn as like, oh I'm a tired yawn, but it's more of a stress yawn. At least if I can accomplish at least a paw before I get into the bathtub will help out a lot. And then when we're watering her face, you want to make sure that her head is down because we don't want water to go into the ears. So as you saw, I put her head down, her ear forward, so no water can go into her ears. You're gonna finally see someone wash a dog from beginning to end. with the drying process right now you're gonna see and this is the happy hoodie you put it over the head it kind of absorbs some of the water in case they don't like the dry around their head and then um, it drowns out some of the noise and I got to use my ear protection Thing, which is add um, evening prim rose oil, which kind of helps out with um, dry skin, dandruff, um, shedding. So I love to spray that on into a little mist and then finish the day off with some breath brush to kind of freshen up their breath. We just need two squirts, one in each side, and that's it. We're pretty much done with Aquila. I just finished dropping off Aquila, the Belgian uh, Malinois. I'm just cleaning up before we go to our second client's house. The plan right now is to just get a snack before we head out to our second client, which has two dogs, a boxer and a little like um, Shih Tzu, Havanese mix kind of dog. So we just finished with a quick um, break, restroom break, uh, snack break just before um, we go to our next client's house. Uh, the good thing about <coughs> doing mobile and whatnot is you kind of make up your own schedule. You're you're your own boss. It gave me more room to grow and get into my craft more. This was like a dream come true, obviously, because now I can work for myself, give myself more leeway and free time, and just enjoy my days more. It's amazing, and you know we're just taking it a day at a time and just making sure that we have fun while doing it. That's the biggest thing. All right, all right, let's go, you guys. Come on. <laughs> we got Bingo and Zeus. All right. So this is Zeus, this is Bingo.
we just finished Zeus and Bingo. We just did basic baths. We did their ears, we did their teeth. We got their nails clipped short and filed and made sure that there's no knots on them for the next time grooming. And we should be back in three weeks. And let's do this, you guys. It's um, 1.20 p.m. Um, we're going to our third house of the day. We're gonna go do a haircut. Actually, this dog that we're about to go see is another client that lives somewhere else, but I guess the dog is at a training facility. So um, they called us so we can go do a haircut because the dog's getting mad. At right now we're waiting to pick up Penny and I'll be right back. That's Penny. Um, she's a doodle. So the other dogs were just full service baths where we did pretty much everything except haircuts. This one is getting everything that they got plus a haircut. hair is coming off of her <laughs> look at her <laughs> all right so we're back about to finish up the day uh time to just wrap up everything kind of put everything away right now it is 4 23 we are headed back to the station back home to fill up you know do the rest of the cleaning and um yeah we'll see you back at home all right so we have officially arrived at our destination back home um we did a seven hour shift um it is officially 501 and we're officially done for the day anybody who's trying to start their own business in this industry um by all means do it you know um there's no means of why you can't do it, you know. Um, all the information is all on the internet. Just as much as I received, I asked questions if I didn't know something. Um, I asked friends and family to help out with information if I didn't understand something. But by all means, definitely go ahead and start your own business. Do it. I support. So definitely do it. It's worth it.